My name is Dr. Nasr Yunusa, Department of Accounting, AB Business School at Ahmad Bele University Zaria. I'm taking Business Mathematics 1, Module 1. Today, we are going to discuss sequence and series under Module 1. When we talk about sequence and series, we are talking about uh, numbers that has to do with uh, differences or common ratio. For instance, a set of this number, one, two, three, four, five, and so on, or that of this number, one plus two plus three plus four, and so on. The basic differences between the two set of numbers is the first one is separated by a comma, and the second one is separated by a sign plus sign, that is addition. So when a number, express of number separated by comma is called sequence. However, if the number is separated by addition, plus, it's called series. Both sequence and series can either be arithmetic progression, geometric progression. That is AP. O G P. If the sequence or series is arithmetic progression, that is A P. The first time, as in the case of this illustration, is one, which is term as A. And the next term, it should be the first term plus the common difference. And the common difference is simply the second term minus the first term, or the third term minus the second term. As in the case of this, the second term, the common difference is equal to 2 minus 1, which is 1. And which is equivalent is also equal to uh, 3 minus 2, which is 1. Thus, the second term based on this sequence is A plus D. And the third time is A plus 2D, A plus 3D, ETC, and so on and so forth. So if the sequence is addition of difference in the second term, and the next term, and the next term multiply by the twice different, third different, fourth difference, therefore, yeah, we call this one. Um, sequence. For instance, how we arrive at these two is simply the A is 1 and the common difference is 1. Therefore, the second term here is 1 plus 1 as in A plus D, which will give you 2. Of course, the next time is A plus 2D, which will give 1 plus 2 times 1, which will give 3. Based on this illustration, one can understand that the n term is just a plus n minus 1 multiplied by common difference, that's d. Thus, to find an n term of a sequence is simply tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 multiplied by common difference. If one uses this formula correctly, any term, you apply this formula, you get it correctly. And the reason for getting the formula is when the sequence is too large, for instance, if you are to get the fifth one, fifth one is just six. The sixth one is seven, of course. But what if you are looking for the seventh one, eighth one, one hundred? Would you continue listing them of this? That's the problem. So to address that, this formula comes. Let's use the formula and get the fifth term. And if we get six, then the formula is correct. Sixth term, which is n is equal to six, t six is equal to a, which is one, plus n six minus one, multiplied by common difference one, which will finally give one plus five into one, Thus, 
is 6. Of course, the next term to this sequence is 6. We can also find the summation of the sequence or series. Let's take the series, for example, under the arithmetic progression. As you can see, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 4. Plus, no, I mean, 1 plus 2, sorry, 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10. The summation of this series is equal to 10. Then the question is, is there any formula that you can get the summation as exactly as 10 or more than that? Yes. We have what they call sum of the sequence or series. Sum of the sequence. We use Sn is equal to n over 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by common difference. With this formula, one can get the summation of the sequence. Since we added, summation means addition. Since we add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 give us 10, let's use the formula and see if we can get exactly 10. To get the sum, the sum of what? First, fourth time, as in the case of this illustration. Therefore, we use S4 is equal to 4 over 2 into 2 times 1 plus 4 minus 1 multiplied by 1. which will give 2 into 2 plus 4 minus 1, 3. And finally, we have 2 into 5, which will finally give 10. Of course, from the, using the formula, we arrive at 10. One can also use the available information and get the unknown. For instance, assuming based on this sequence and series, one didn't know uh, first time A, or even the common difference. And there is available information as to regard to a particular n term or some of the n term. That is when uh, uh, the, the, the result could lead to either linear equation or simultaneous equation or even quadratic equation. Let's take a simple example and see how can we get an a particular uh, first time in the series. For instance, assuming we don't know the first time in this series. However, we know a particular term. For instance, the fourth term of the series is equal to five. Find the first time if the common difference is one. To find, to find the first time A if the D is equal to 1 using the fourth term, which is, which is equal to Therefore, we use the same formula. A plus M minus 1 multiplied by D is equal to 5. Since we don't know A, we leave A as it is, but we know the fifth time is what? For this, is for, we have what? 4D is equal to 5. And we know D is 1. So since D is 1, we have what? A is equal to 5 minus 4 into 1 which will finally give 5 minus 4, which A will be equal to 1. And you can see, we get the unknown, and it's directly equal to 1, since 2 minus 1, I mean, the first time here is 1, and in the what uh, series is also equal to 1. That is um, for um, AP.